So today we're doing a seven round Seattle Seahawks mock draft. And fortunately, I just got done doing a Vikings mock and they got a billion picks. You guys have a second, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. And the seventh is via uh, the Detroit Lions. So um, getting a little bit of a, a break on this one, fortunately. But uh, if you like the channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell notification so you don't miss it. I'm planning on doing ish. I mean, there's not exactly enough days in the week. Um, to be doing it with 32 teams and whatnot, but roughly once a month, there's going to be uh, your team is going to be doing a mock every single week. I'm doing a, a first round mock, and then I've got some other Packers stuff too. If, if you're into that kind of thing, but um, if you are, also check out the Packernet podcast. Otherwise, let's get it started with the 54th pick in the second round of the 2021 NFL Draft. The Seattle Seahawks select. Xavier Thomas, edge rusher, Clemson. So I'm, I'm obviously torn. Um, the, the biggest things I want to come into this with is offensive line and defensive line. And to be honest, I'd rather do offensive line now that we've got Adams and probably Dunbar, I'm assuming, is going to be playing this year. I don't really know the, how that's all working. I think he's still on the uh, commissioner's exempt list or whatever. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But I, I, I like the direction of the defense now enough that I kind of just really want to give Russell Wilson a little bit of help. I know you got some wide receivers and whatnot, but I mean, it's bad, man. The offensive line is not good and the guy deserves some help, but Xavier Thomas is the top guy on the board. And despite having a safety now and, and corners and whatnot, um, the defensive line is just really not good. And so with Xavier Thomas being the top guy on the board, I'd rather just take him than reach a little bit and take an offensive lineman. So with the 54th pick, the Seattle Seahawks select Xavier Thomas, edge rusher, out of Clemson. I'm not drunk, I'm just tired. With the 118th pick in the fourth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Seattle Seahawks select Alec Lindstrom, offensive center, Boston College. So, it's, I mean, it's just painful, man. We, we get, and, and that's also why Xavier Thomas is so important. We can get interior offensive linemen, uh, defensive tackles and things like that. I'm a little bit more comfortable taking those types of guys later. If you're going to get an edge rusher, I'm not waiting until 118. I'm just not. So we get one pick in the top 100. That's just, that's pretty brutal, but it is what it is. So, um, you know, Damian Lewis obviously was a, a fairly good start in terms of trying to get this offensive line fired up, but what we still need, in my estimation, a guard, a center, and a tackle before we can kind of say, I'm feeling good about this offensive line. So with our next pick, which is all the way in the fourth round, we're going to go Alec Lindstrom out of Boston College. With the 150th pick in the fifth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Seattle Seahawks, I hope I didn't say Vikings before, the Seattle Seahawks select Jalen Redmond, defensive tackle, Oklahoma. I, I don't generally like to be one-dimensional, but when we've only got so few picks, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. And I'm not saying I'm doing this. In fact, spoiler alert, I'm not. But if, if we just went offensive line and defensive line with our five picks, how mad would you be? I'm not saying there's no other needs anywhere, but if you just get those two things up and running, with the, with the tools you have, with the quarterback and the safety and the corners and the wide receiver, like I feel like there's enough that this can be a dominant football team. Because I think there's... As much as Seattle makes it to the playoffs every year, there's certainly some things that are lacking that are going to prevent you from getting there. But if you get the offensive and defensive line at least clicking at a moderate level, we're, we're in a good way. As far as why Redmond, outside of being just the best available, the only real defensive lineman that I see that I think there's some potential here that is, you know, whatever, is probably Puna Ford. And Puna Ford is, what is he? Puna is 310 pounds. And so you've got sort of the the bigger body guy and more of a, um, you know, he's 6'3", 266, at least according to what I have here, Jalen Redmond. So you got some more of the leaner, shoot the gap type of a guy in uh, Jalen Redmond. So it's just, it's just a complimentary kind of thing where you get a little bit more pass rush out of him. So with the 150th pick, Jalen Redmond defensive tackle out of Oklahoma. With the 182nd pick in the sixth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Seattle Seahawks select Josh Sills, offensive guard, 
Oklahoma. Again, fairly straightforward. As I said before, in my estimation, even if, you know, assuming Alec Lindstrom works out, we're still looking for a guard and we're still looking for a tackle. So not taking a tackle in the sixth round. Josh Sills is sitting here at a fantastic value. Um, it's not extremely likely, but considering the level of play of our current offensive linemen, I think Sills has a legitimate shot to not only be a really solid backup, in other words, he's going to make the team, he's got a shot to be a starter. So um, Josh Sills is obviously a pretty monstrous human being, but I think that kind of goes in with our identity of just kind of being a smash you in the mouth on offense and defensive uh, sides of the ball kind of identity. So uh, athleticism may be a little bit of a question mark, but um, absolute massive human being, and I'm just excited to give him to you. Finally, with the 199th pick in the seventh round via the Detroit Lions, the Seattle Seahawks select Jack Sanborn, linebacker, Wisconsin. Now, I understand you just drafted Jordan Brooks, and so this may be a bit of a question mark, but I'm looking at a team that doesn't have very much depth at linebacker whatsoever. I'm also looking at the fact that K.J. Wright, he's going to be gone very, very soon, and I don't know that Bobby Wagner isn't far behind. Bobby Wagner is still a top-tier linebacker, but at 30 years old, you've got two years, maybe, a year or two left, and this is 2021, so 2020 is already concluded, so he's going to be 31 going into this current season that we're talking about. So we've got Jordan Brooks, we've got Ben Burkirvan, who hasn't shown much of anything, we got Emmanuel Ellerby, who I don't know that we can expect very much, um, and what? So that's why I did what I did. I know it's not super exciting, but it's the seventh round. We're looking for depth. We're looking for guys at positions that could possibly compete, and linebacker is one of those. Not very likely, but what are you going to do? Are you going to draft a quarterback? Are you going to draft another edge rusher? No. We're going linebacker. We're going to try to get some competition. He's going to compete with guys like Ellerby and Burke Irvin and that kind of stuff, and um, it is what it is. So with the final pick in the 100, 199th in the seventh round, we're taking Jack Sanborn out of Wisconsin. Well, that's it for this mock. Uh, please leave comments down below. As I said, I'm going to be doing roughly one a month for the Seahawks. So within the next month, month and a half, you're going to be getting another one. So leave lots and lots and lots of comments. Uh, let me know what you guys think and what you guys are looking for so that next time around we can really hone in on this and, and get you guys a, uh, not that I'm not proud of this mock, but uh, get a better idea of what some of the needs are, maybe some of the nuance that I missed out on or forgot. Otherwise, please hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell notification. And again, if you want to know what's going on with the Green Bay Packers, the Packernet podcast is going five days a week, and it's going to be going seven days a week once the season starts. I look forward to seeing you.